Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we are making mushroom smothered pork chops and sweet and sour green beans. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get my pan, uh, start to heat up for my pork chops. I'm going to go ahead and add my, my butter to the pan. That way it can start melting and start doing its thing. And I have a couple of pork chops here. I'm going to grab a glove real quick. And these are bone-in pork chops, so be careful when you go to eat them that you don't eat the bone. Uh, it doesn't feel great when you do. So we are going to just take our pork chops. I have uh, some Cajun seasoning here. You just need about two, two teaspoons-ish of Cajun seasoning. It's going to add a, a nice, nice little saltiness and teeny bit of spice, not too, too much. The, the cream sauce will kind of eliminate any, any spice that would come from it. It's not going to be super spicy anyways, because it's just kind of more of a, uh, uh, a seasoning as opposed to, you know, straight, straight, straight cayenne or fresh red pepper flakes. So we're just going to season both sides of this. That's got with the seasoning. It, uh, <clears throat> oh, it tastes great. <clears throat> I'm just doing two. Your pack will, uh, will have you know, three to four pork chops in it. Uh, this is for my dinner, so I don't need to eat four pork chops at one time. <coughs> oh, gosh. <clears throat> Be careful that Cajun seasoning. It will, uh, will get you a little bit. So our... Our butter is in our pan, and it's just about melted all the way, but the butter's hot, so it'll start searing our pork chops some. I'm gonna let that go about three to four minutes per side, and now we can start working on our uh, bacon, which I should have left my glove on for, so we can just kind of keep rolling, and I'll have to stop, wash my hands, and, and do everything after touching raw meat. It's got some strips of bacon here. And when you see like lardons in a recipe, it just means kind of, kind of small strips of bacon. So I'm gonna kind of stack them all up and I'm gonna cut them in half lengthwise before slicing them. And then it's gonna start slicing up my bacon. This will give us some lardons or just pieces of bacon. So our bacon is just about cut. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my other pan. And then I'll turn that on so that way the bacon can start rendering out. In goes the bacon. Guy on. And then we can kind of start getting everything else ready for our, our party. So I'm going to go ahead and slice up my onion. I'm just going to put it here off to the side so that way I can slice up my, my mushrooms and my green beans. So I'm going to cut the stem end off my onion, put the cut side down, and then cut it in half through it. We'll Peel the onion. Make sure you get the, you know, the whole peel off of it. So we got the, the peel off the onion. And I'm going to now get a little bit of the off out of the way. And I'm just going to Cut some thin strips out of the onion, not all the way through the root, but to the cutting board. And I'll give it a turn, and I have a nice diced onion. You kind of push that up here off to the side. 
And then we'll do that with the other half of the onion as well. Give it a little turn. And now we have the diced onions. I'm gonna put that up here on the plate. Uh, yes, I know raw bacon was on it, but we are going to throw this onion into the pan. So we're gonna cook it so you don't need to worry about that. Got a so we're gonna kind of spread up, spread out my bacon a little bit so that way it can cook, cook faster. Then I'm going to start slicing up my mushrooms. These are just you know, plain old everyday white mushrooms. Just need to give them a slice. Uh, if you want, you can do you know, baby bellas, chupakis, or whatever it might be. Uh, these just happen to be what I grabbed first. And they still give you great, great flavor with everything. And we've got, let's say we're just doing a simple slice on these. You can even cheat and buy the pre-sliced mushrooms. Save you a little bit of time from having to clean them and slice them. And they'll just be ready to go to dump in your pan. So our mushrooms are just about done. And then we will check on our pork chops and start getting our green beans ready. All right, so our mushrooms are done. I'm kind of checking our pork chop. Want a little bit of a, a sear on there, so these, these look like they need just a, another minute or two, so we'll just kind of leave those alone. Put them in a second, and we'll give my bacon a stir, so that way we can, we can keep that going. We're just trying to render the, the fat out of the bacon to get that crispy, so that way we can Put the onion and the green beans in the back, and then add the bacon back in towards the end of the cooking. So I'm just going to get my green beans out and get them ready to go. Uh, it's a pretty easy preparation for those. If you got, you know, the vine or the stick that they're on, just kind of pull that flat right off and throw it away, and then kind of line your your green beans up. So that way you can, you can easily cut them. So we're just going to basically we're going to cut the ends of it off and then cut it in half. So we'll just cut one end, one end, then in half. So we have essentially uh, two green beans out of one. And we'll do that with the, the pound of green beans that we got. So we'll kind of line everybody up from one end. Give it a cut, turn everybody, line them up on this end, give it a cut, throw those guys away, and then cut it in, push those up to the side, so then we'll do that with the rest of the green beans, and that way it'll same, same amount of green beans, but it looks like there's a lot more just because we're the way we're cutting. So, ends off here. So we're going to turn. Kind of push everything back to this end. Is that cut? Cut in half. We'll push those up. I think our pork chops are ready to, to flip now. So we've got our pork chops flipped. They're starting to get some nice color on them. The edges are starting to get kind of a nice little sear on it. And we're going to let that go again for another three to four minutes. Don't so take them out. Add our mushrooms to the pan and our garlic. Let that cook for a little bit. Then we can add our sauce base. And we will uh, just stop here. Just about ready to be, uh, sorry, that comes back. And we'll be just about ready to eat. This is kind of a pretty, pretty quick dinner. 
pork chops don't take too long to cook. These green beans won't take very long. The sauce comes together pretty quickly as well. So a lot of the time, you're just kind of standing here, cutting up stuff while other things cook, which is great because you're, you're staying busy the whole time. So then we'll got stem in there. We'll put that out. Push everything to the side. One cut. And push everything back. Push another cut and then cut these in half. Bacon's over there having a party. There are a couple of shorties in there, so we just got to uh, go and trim those. Make sure you, know, you get at least get the, the big stem off. Cut that in half. Our green beans are, are all set. I just need to wait, wait a minute or two to get our pork chops out. Our bacon looks pretty great, so I'm going to grab a plate and we put our bacon on there. Then we'll start cooking our onions and garlic. So, let's go. We're just going to scoop the bacon out of the pan, leaving the, the bacon fat, because you want that to cook with. Get the bacon out. Sometimes I'll just kind of push it to one edge where I know my plate is, and do that, and then our onion is ready to go. Onion back on. Let's take a look at the side of the pork chops. We're going to smash our garlic, then we'll take our pork chops out and start making that sauce. So we'll just take the garlic, put put it underneath your knife, kind of smash it. Then we'll peel it. And then we'll chop twice and or chop once use twice. So we'll chop all of it up at one time and I'll go in two different dishes that kind of help save time and a little bit of effort. So our garlic is all out. Just going to just start chopping the garlic up. ready to go. So we can take our plate here and add our pork chops or take our pork chops out. Just kind of let those rest over here on the side. And now we will add our mushrooms to the party. We're just kind of just going to let those go for a few minutes, just kind of saute them a little bit. Then we can start making our our roux and our sauce. So we'll kind of move those around. This is going to pick up any flavor that was left in there for any of the pork juice that are left in there because mushrooms are like a sponge. They'll, they'll absorb you know, flavor. So we're just 
move these around so they can saute. And then we need to add our heavy cream to our beef broth. So I got two cups of beef broth here. I just need a fourth cup of heavy cream. So it's going to take this and add it to our Sometimes you get a little bit of uh, the thick cream on top of the, uh, the bottle. It should have sugar a little bit to kind of mix that all up, but it's all right. It will it'll still make our sauce nice and creamy. Uh, the reason we do this is that way when we add it to our pan to make our kind of sauce with our roux, we just kind of add it all at once and it will, will save some time from having the pour the beef broth in, then pour in the, the heavy cream. So our onions are just about ready. They probably seem to have a minute or two. Then we add our green beans and everything else to the pan. And our mushrooms need you know, just a little bit longer too. So we're kind of going just Hang out and wait. Alright, so our onions are and mushrooms are actually looking pretty good right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add half the garlic to the mushrooms, half the garlic to the onions. I'm gonna add my green beans to the onions. Get that all in there. I'm cutting them up because they like to roll and get away from you. I'm going to give that a nice big toss. Get that going. Move around our garlic. Then I'm going to add my flour to the pan for the mushrooms. And you want to stir away, do this that way. You get mixed in. This is going to kind of absorb the fat that's in the pan. And this will help make our our roux for our sauce will help thicken everything up. Yes, it's going to stick to the mushrooms. It's okay when we start adding the liquid and moving stuff around. It will uh, it will come off the mushrooms and kind of go into the sauce and help help thicken up. So we got our beef broth and heavy cream here. Just going to add that. Uh, I like adding a little bit at a time because if you add add it too fast. You can chop your pan and it'll take longer for it to cook and thicken up. So I'm going to add you know, a little bit at a time, just to kind of make it a little easier for that roux to work. If you dump it all in, sometimes you'll get little dough balls or kind of like little dumplings in your uh, your gravy. Because if your, your beef broth and your hip cream are too, too cold, it will go kind of seize it up. It'll eventually thicken, but it'll take longer to do. So that's why I like adding a little at a time to help with that. Give our green beans a little, a little stir. So I'm gonna add the rest of our, or almost the rest of our sauce. You can see it as you, you add a little bit at a time, stir it around, mix it up that you get, uh, you know, it thickens up as you do it. So that's why you kind of add a little bit at a time, stir, stir, stir. That way by stirring you get you know, that flour mixture, the roux distributed throughout, throughout the sauce. And you kind of get those mushrooms broke up because when you add it, when we added the roux, they kind of clump together. That's right, we'll, we'll get them you know, kind of broken up a little bit and you know, evenly divide it through our sauce. So I think I can add the rest of this now. I just kind of want to bring this up to the simmer. I got a little bit of my beef base spill in there. Just going to mix this all up. I need a tablespoon of Worcestershire for the sauce and some 
we got mustard. It's going to add some nice, nice little hanging flavor. So we can get all this out of the way. Give us a stir. And just need to let this simmer or come up to the simmer. And we should be doing good. Now for our green beans, I got two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And we are going to mix that all up. Switch pans so we can see a little better. Mix this all up. Okay. So I'm not scraping the bottom of my pan with some metal tongs. This is kind of how we're going to get the sweet and sour with the, uh, the brown sugar and the uh, apple cider vinegar. So we're just going to kind of take this, we're going to get the green beans, you know, coated in the sauce. Because we're going, that's how you get you know, that nice flavor. So we'll add our, our bacon back to the pan. Toss everything together. Keep keep stirring it up. Get it coated in the sauce. It's already smells amazing. I can't wait to, to eat it. And the sauce you could do with you know any vegetables really. You know, just bacon, onions, garlic. Those things go amazing together. And you add a little bit of brown sugar and apple cider vinegar. Kind of get a little bit sweet and sour and some Worcestershire for just you know, some great flavor. You know, you can, you can toss your carrots in this, you can toss your zucchini in it, potatoes, you can do chicken in this, and yeah, it'll be great. We're just kind of tossing it about. Can't wait to eat this. So we're then letting that go, our, our mushroom sauce is starting to kind of simmer, simmer away. And with our, our mushroom gravy, all we really need to do is add our, uh, our spinach to it, add our pork chops back in, have the spinach both a little bit, and we'll taste and season everything with a little salt and pepper, same with our green beans, and we'll be ready to eat. So we're just going to let this kind of simmer and do its thing. <clears throat> then we'll come back and add our, our spinach. This only needs a couple minutes to, for, for the uh, mushroom gravy to heat up. So it'll come to the simmer. Just, we want it to simmer and kind of, kind of thicken up a little bit. So it just takes, this takes a couple minutes to do. Turn you up, turn you down. I wish it was kind of like TV where you had like the instant, you know, it instantly comes to the boil whenever you put it on. We get a little bit of a simmer. I'm going to add my spinach now, I need about two cups. Just going to kind of sprinkle it in there. It'll look like a lot, but spinach works down pretty, pretty quickly to nothing. So we'll, Call that two cups. You can chop it up a little bit, but like I said, it it wilts down pretty pretty quick. So we're just going to kind of stir it, mix it all about. It smells amazing. I can't wait to eat it. So now we're going to take our pork chops and we're just going to kind of nestle them in there. Any juices that came off them, pour that in there too because that's, that's free flavor right there. Mix 
this guy up. And now just kind of let that simmer for a minute or two to kind of bring everyone's flavors together. The green beans are looking good. That sugar starts to caramelize a little more. So it's sticking, sticking better to the beans. And I'm going to grab a, another plate so we can put some stuff up. Just give me one second to get a plate. And then we'll be ready to eat. pork chops here. Turn that off. Turn that off. Take a pork chop out. Put that on there. Get, get some green beans. Get one final toss. And all that bacon onion goodness. Mushroom, spinach sauce, pour that right over top. And we will be all done. So here we have sweet and sour green beans with uh, mushrooms and other pork chops. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.